The latest development is that uh, the treasurer who is at the heart of this scandal, a man called Luis Barcenas, has uh, made a number of fresh allegations. Uh, he told a court in Toledo that he personally gave cash-stuffed envelopes to one of the party's more, most senior and most powerful leaders. Uh, he said he gave 15,000 euros in cash to a lady called Dolores de Cospedal, who is the Secretary General of Spain's ruling popular party and uh, a very close aide to uh, Mariano Rajoy, the Spanish Prime Minister. And what this does is it reignites a scandal that has been simmering for much of the year that was kicked off when a Spanish newspaper reported that uh, the Popular Party had run a secret slush fund for as many as 20 years, uh, which was filled with illegal donations from construction companies and other businesses, and which was then used to pay, to make cash payments to top party officials. Now, the party uh, denies this. Uh, Mrs. de Gospedal denies the latest allegations. Now, this latest development will be very unwelcome news for uh, for the Spanish Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy, uh, simply because the economy has been looking up lately, and the polls for his party uh, have also shown uh, a slight improvement in recent weeks. And there was a genuine sense that uh, Spanish voters were starting to forget this latest scandal and were starting to put uh, more trust again in, in the, in the centre-right popular party and in Mr. Rajoy himself. It is very difficult to predict how this scandal will ultimately end. Uh, there's still um, a major judicial investigation going on into who paid what to whom and who received what from whom. Uh, that, uh, that judicial investigation rumbles on in the background. But in terms of the, of the national repercussions, it basically revives a scandal that has, that has been very damaging to Mr. Rajoy and to the ruling PP. Tobias Buck for the Financial Times of Madrid.